In this video, we're going to show you how to install a headlight on your Subaru Impreza. Go ahead and remove the clips that are attaching the under splash shield to the front bumper. There's usually two here, one up here. We're going to start with these two because it's the first two we have. If your car has fog lights, when you pull this bezel down, go ahead and unplug your fog lights and keep traveling down, finding all of the clips that attach the front bumper to the car. And same on this side. Now would be the time, if you had fog lights, to unplug them. On the side of your bumper, there's going to be a clip using a clip removal tool. We're just going to go ahead and take that out. Go ahead and lift it off a little bit. And then go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Now on the top side of the bumper, go ahead and remove these six clips. Grab near your fender, pop out the clips around the headlight, and then do the same on the other side. To remove the headlight, we're going to start by taking off the two connectors, this gray one and this black one. On the gray one, there's a little tab on the bottom. Go ahead and push in, squeeze it and pull out. Check the connector, make sure there's no corrosion or anything. And this black one, there's a tab on top. Squeeze it and pull back. Same thing with this, just check the plug for any corrosion. To remove this bracket, we're going to start by removing these two 10 millimeter screws. You're going to want to remove the four clips out of this uh, front grill plastic piece. and just put that off to the side. And on the outside, we're gonna remove this one 10 mil. And then take your plastic bracket off. On the top of the headlight, we're now gonna remove this plastic clip. And these two 10 mils. Pull straight out, and that's your headlight assembly. To remove the bulbs out of the headlight assembly, give them a quarter turn counterclockwise, and then just pull them out. To reinstall, put them in and a quarter turn clockwise.
in this Phillips head is going to be how you aim your headlights. Now it's time to reinstall your headlight. I'm going to leave some of my plastic on to minimize the scratches. You're going to line these two tabs up with these two holes and there's a little alignment pin on the side that's going to fit into this side. Make sure your alignment pin is in. Push in. And then hold the headlight with a 10 mil for now. Install the other one as well. Now install the plastic trim under the headlight. There's a 10 mil on the side over here. Put that in finger tight and put one on the front as well. Install the other front bolt. Go ahead and tighten those down. Then go to the side and tighten this one down as well. Go ahead and tighten the two 10 mils down on the top of the headlight. And then install a plastic clip into that hole. Remove your plastic. Now go ahead and reconnect your connectors. Push them in until you hear a click. The headlight removal is the same on both sides. The only difference is on the passenger side, you need to remove this airbox cowling. There's usually two clips, one right here and one right here, and then you just pull straight out. When you put this back in, Make sure it sits back in the box. We're gonna install our plastic trim piece. And insert four clips. Now it's time to reinstall your front bumper. Go ahead and line up your clips on the right side. Wrap it around. Tops lined up. Get the clips on the left lined up. And a slight tap and you should hear a click, which means they're in. good to go. Go ahead and install the six clips on the top of the grill for the bumper. Two big ones on the sides and these four little ones in the middle. Inside the wheel well, go ahead and reinstall this plastic clip and do the same thing on the other side. Now on the bottom side, go ahead and push this plastic piece back up. You want it sitting inside of here, except for when it comes out for the clips. Reinstall any clips that you took out. And in my case, there's only one right here that attaches the bumper to the support. 
and then go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Now we're going to get the vehicle ready to aim the headlights. Start with the tire pressure, making sure all four tires are set at the appropriate pressure. Remove any excessive weight that's not normally in the vehicle. Find a wall that you can drive up to where the ground is level. Measure 25 feet away from that wall and mark the ground. Drive your vehicle up to that mark. With the headlights off, look for the center dot in the headlight lens. Measure from the ground to that center dot. You can use a ruler to help you out. Transferring that measurement to the wall, making a mark with some tape. On the driver's side, measure down 4 inches, putting another piece of tape. For the passenger side, you only need to measure down 2 inches. Now turning the headlights on, it is easier to do this at night or in a dark area. Locating your headlight adjuster and using a Phillips head screwdriver, turn your adjuster one way or another to bring the headlight up or down. Once the headlight is adjusted to the tape mark on the wall, move on to the next headlight. If you're confused because the beams seem to blend together, you can always have someone stand in front of the other headlight while you make your adjustments for that one. Now your headlights are aligned and you're all set to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.